to me, that's the that's the number one thing about Malik is he's had so many setbacks in his career. I mean, obviously, he's tore his ACL in his grade 12 year. He tore his ACL in his fifth year of, of eligibility here, uh, as well as you know maybe not getting the massive roll right off the bat that he think he wanted and. You know, many, many times I'm sure he was incredibly discouraged and his ability to fight through it and to, to work through adversity and to continue to get better, I think, really speaks to, to his character and uh, has really determined, you know, what he's become today. In close games for us, in key moments, when people are a little more panicked and a little frantic, he's the one who's settling us down. He's the one that's, that's sort of, it's all right, guys, we got this. Let's take care of business. Like, this is what we need to do. Through his years here, he's certainly been a part of some of our biggest moments. I mean, certainly arguably one of our biggest, maybe second biggest win we've had in my time here was uh, beating UBC on the road in the sweep. And, you know, A.J. Bassey made a, a key three-pointer, the winning shot in that game. But to people don't realize is Malik Irwin got the offensive rebound on that play, which was his role in the game right there, was to just give us that extra possession defend and make plays, and he did exactly that. That rebound is going to be a monumental rebound sort of in the history of our program. He, that was him. Thank you, Malik. Thank you for your time here with us. Thank you for helping bring this program up. Thank you for helping to mentor our young guys here today and, and make us better, not only now, but in the future. Good luck, Malik.